hold on to your hats, break out the duct tape, because this might just be the stupidest thing you've heard all week. Go ahead, Maestro, play it. We appreciate the prayers of the nation. Thank you, thank you. So what kind of weapons were used to gun down these police officers, and where could someone get them? Joining us now is forensic expert Jennifer Berenger, and she has some more insight on that. Jennifer, you've been here listening to all of this as it has unfolded. What are your thoughts about the, the weapons that were possibly used in this attack? Stop. Well, certainly we'll know. Okay. What do we know right here? This is while it's going on. It is ongoing. So these two news chicks bring in this chick, and that they ask her, what are your thoughts about the weapons that were possibly used in the attack? As in, we have no idea whether there was one, two, ten, a half a gunman. We don't know for sure. We have no idea what they used, but let's bring you on as a nationally recognized expert to give us your hypothesis about what may have happened. And remember, she is a forensic expert. I don't know if she was on CSI ever or not, but she's a forensic expert. They bring on a forensic expert to talk about firearms. Uh, about firearms. Go ahead and play, Jared. More coming up. But for now, um, unfortunately, just with laws as they are, and especially being in Texas, um, there's a lot of hunting that goes on there. Uh, Stop. These guys could have used... Unfortunately... The laws as they are, and this was in Texas, and there's a lot of hunting that goes on there. So, forensic expert, she's, she's very sad that, well, the laws as they are, and what are we to infer from that, that they're not strict enough. And this is in Texas, and there's a lot of hunting that goes on there. So, because Texas allows hunting, and there are a lot of people, and they don't have strict enough laws, you're going to have things like this. Thank you for your little political anti-gun or gun control thing there. Go ahead, Chick. Rifles, in fact. The big difference between an assault rifle and a hunting rifle is, frankly, the scope. Stop! On it and scope Stop! Stop! The, the forensic expert on Fox News. This isn't like local channel for, you know, Portland. This is... Fox National News Live, the forensic expert chick that they get on says, the difference between a hunting rifle and an assault rifle is the scope that you put on it. Yes, yes. Thank you, Fox News, for clearing that up for the entire world. Now, the difference between a hunting rifle and an assault rifle is the scope that you put on it. Ah, but she's not done. Oh no, Maestro, please hit play. It's going to be purchased online. So um, I know that a lot of your guests have been saying that perhaps this was a very planned attack, but in theory, this could have been done on spur of the moment with a hunting rifle um, very easily, as long as it was a double shot weapon. Stop! They could, they could... All right. Did you catch what she said? That's easily a scope that's easily available online. Did you know that you can go online and buy a scope? So what's the next thing we're going to get here? We're going to get uh, background checks for scopes. And did she say as long as it was a double shot gun? Did the forensic expert that Fox News brought on national television to hypothesize about firearms that may have been used. We don't even know. As long as it was a double shot gun, but you might be thinking, what is a double shot gun? Sweetie, tell us what a double shot gun is. Do it with something that you could purchase at a grocery store. Yeah, and, and what? Also interesting. Ah, stop! All right. So, not only 
is are the laws so lax in Texas that there's a lot of hunting that goes on and that a, a hunter could have just like spur of the moment gone crazy and that you can buy scopes online. This could have been done with a gun that you could easily purchase in a grocery store. Yes, I know. Most of you probably didn't know. And you say, Paul, I know better. Ah, you know better. But that's not who she's talking to. She's talking to your sweet Aunt Sarah. She's talking to your kindly old Uncle Jim. She's talking to the people that you work with and they're, that aren't gun people are like, well, I was watching Fox News. Did you know that people can just go into grocery stores and buy assault weapons? Yes, according to the expert on Fox News, you can buy assault weapons. Not only can you get the scopes online, because we don't have scope control in America, but you can go into any grocery store. Now, you think that the other two chicks that are sitting there, when she said you could buy it at any grocery store, then they'd be like, whoa, put the brakes on, Susie. Did you just say you can buy assault rifles in grocery stores? And that they would call out? No, let's see, let's see if they have a reaction. I did a little bit of research into this and was not aware of it. Perhaps I'm sure other people are, you are. Uh, you can go into these gun shops and you can buy adapters, right? Which can adapt a gun and make it a, an assault or a semi assault or can make it an assault rifle. That's right. It will certainly allow the rifle to shoot faster, which may have been what they were hearing. Well, for now, we know that there may have even been more than one person involved, more than one shooter, but even if it were just the one, uh, it could have been a hunting rifle that um, had a good scope on it that had been modified, as you say, or maybe even not modified. Stop, a lot stop, of times stop, can... stop. So if you're in Texas and you went online and bought a scope, and then you went to the grocery store and got your rifle, you may not know that they have adapters that you can get at these shops that can, did you notice how she stumbled over words, that can make them semi? Make them semi? I've heard the term, you know, making somebody semi or having semi, but not in this context. So, you can buy an adapter to turn your hunting rifle into an assault rifle and make it shoot the bullets faster. And you think, okay, we're done here. This is the stupidest thing I'm going to hear today.